Hey, hey, welcome to the fifth day of the 30 day challenge with me, Joyce Scola. Today we're going to be covering downward dog. It's supposed to be an active resting pose and one that I didn't truly understand the alignment of until about five years into my practice. So I really want to be able to break down the alignment for you and help you understand how your body should be and feel in the pose in order for you to get the rest and breaths that you need to continue your practice. So down dog, I always like to start in my plank when I'm finding the placement for my down dog. I want to bring my wrists right underneath my shoulders and feet all the way back, legs are straight. I'm really active here in that plank pose. And then I'm going to shift back into my downward dog. So I see a lot of pictures and people in their practice where they really try to drop their chest to the mat and get deep in their shoulders, but that actually creates a lot of impact for your shoulder blades and isn't that healthy for your spine or your shoulders. So you want to make sure that your, your ears are actually in line with your arms here. And then also some people tend to really shrug their shoulders forward and out away from their spine, but that too creates a lot of tension, especially if you do have shoulder pains neck pains, we want to try and avoid that. So my shoulders are always down my back and then my chest is in line with my arms. Now I'm going to break this down from the ground up. For it to be an active resting pose, you want to have the pushing and the pulling, the duality, um, creating that counterbalance and that tension so you can actually kind of huh, let go and let your muscles and bones sort of hold you there while you can take your breaths and releasing. So when I come into my plank, I spread my fingers nice and wide and then I claw the mat as though I'm trying to pull the mat back towards my face. Now, some people have a tendency to lift their big knuckles off the mat when they do that and really press into the heel of the palm but really I want to be pressing through this whole outer edge of the palm and then especially a lot through these upper pads here and then I want to picture that middle palm pulling up and in almost like a tent or a dome so I come place my hands on the mat and then I really grip and then press through those big mounds Take my feet back, nice old plank, not drooping here. And then on my inhale, I pull my hips away from my hands and up towards the ceiling. So again, the shoulders tend to want to really push out here. I want to drop them into my back. Now, there is some key alignments here that we want in our down dog. So I want my forearms to roll in towards the center, roll towards my thumbs so that way the flat part is facing forward. And then while that happens, I want to roll my bicep and my shoulder out. So again, it's this duality of twisting in, twisting out, pushing and pulling to find the symmetry here. Getting nice and wide, press through your palms, take a deep breath, twist your forearms and your wrists in towards your thumbs and then let your biceps roll out away from your shoulders and your shoulders roll out from your spine exhale really press through bringing your chest through closer towards your your thighs but again not going past my my arms here i want to stay nice and aligned then I'm going to inhale, soften my knees, let my heels sink towards the ground here, and then lift my tailbone up while I spread my hips wide. So I'm trying to take them up and out. While I do this, I want to roll my inner thighs in towards one another and really stay pressing through the whole top pad of the foot. So you can see this all in action here. Spreading those fingers, pressing through the palm, pulling those fingers back towards my face. Exhale, shift 
those hips back as you press into your hands. Let the shoulders drop down the spine. Soft bend in the knees, heels reach towards the floor as you lift the tailbone and spread the hips wide, rolling your thighs in towards one another. So you can feel some heat here. You're not quite ready to let go though. Again, I'm not locking out my knees. On my next inhale, I'm gonna let my spine lengthen out towards my fingertips. So while my tailbone reaches back in the opposite direction, I reach my scalp back towards my fingertips. And now I feel kind of like I've just settled into these sort of pillars here, this sort of pyramid that has, is just holding me up. So then I can actually take my breaths. Perfect. Thank you so much for following along. I hope that this helps for you to understand down dog a little more and it actually starts to feel like a resting pose for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.